What's good YouTube, it's Jason back here with another video. I'm in downtown Toronto again, but this time I'm in Chinatown. I'm gonna explore the city, show you some cool spots that I know of. Kensington Market is actually up the street, so I'm gonna take you there. It's really cool things to do that I never got to show you in a video before, so I'm very excited to do that. And also, I'm gonna also go to Ward's Island's time, and I promise you, I will go to Ward's Island. It is currently 5.13 p.m. The ferry leaves at 6.30. By the time I get there, it'll be 7 o'clock and it'll be just in time for golden hour. Sunset's around 7.45ish, so hopefully I get a good sunset for you guys and let's take you along. Alright guys, so I'm here on Spadina near Dundas right behind me. And if you've never been here before, there's a place called Ajasan Ramen. It's so sick. It's a really good ramen place. I would highly recommend come here and try it. It's honestly so good. The ramen is amazing. It comes in a big serving and it's pretty cheap for ramen. Come to this place, Ajasan Ramen. <laughs> Guys, so I'm in this parking lot. It's a really popular one as you can tell from the background. A lot of people here, but this is a good classic view of Toronto. You get the entire city. It's really cool. You get a lot of good landscapes here. You get a lot of good portraits. You know, people have been here, the classic scene tower. Alright guys, so I actually ran into a couple fans actually. What's good? What's Say hi. Up? Say hi. Hey, up, you yeah, you're gonna be on uh, YouTube. So like how long have you been watching now? Uh a couple of years. Yeah. yeah. Probably four years at this point. Yeah? Well I remember back when I guess you uh, met them at Walmart, right? That's yeah. Like, so are you gonna be are you gonna subscribe to this channel? Absolutely. Alright, what were you guys? You gonna subscribe <laughs> to the channel? Subscribe. Yeah, my guy. Yesterday, bro. <laughs> Appreciate it. Alright. Take care guys. Take care. Hey, cheers on. Honestly, this was like an unexpected vlog because I didn't expect to actually just go out and like shoot something and you know actually get some content for you guys. I just came here thinking like oh like I'm just gonna go to the island and I hope you guys are enjoying this video and as always don't forget to give this video a like. I really do appreciate everybody who's been showing support and I know it's been very difficult but I'm managing to make the best of it especially with COVID going on. Things are starting to slowly get up and uh, be back to normal but I hope that the sunset is gonna you know be better than what I think because it's clear skies and it looks to be a beautiful night. guys as you can tell today's thursday it's a bit windier it's a bit colder that's why i'm wearing the winter jacket tuesday when i filmed the last clip at the sunset much warmer great spring weather i'm currently in park there right now and if you guys are not familiar with this area right behind me is the house of balloons that the weekend lived in and shot a lot of his visuals for his entire mixtape he also shot king of the fall I'll show you some clips right now of the music video. I personally think that this house is gonna be an iconic landmark in Toronto history and pop culture in terms of what The Weeknd was able to do and create his music career in Toronto. And it started with this house 10 years ago. He created his uh, House of Balloons mixtape in 2011, but I also checked on YouTube and I don't see anybody who's actually posted a video of them being at the actual house and documenting their experience coming to this house. I just seen people show reactions to the mixtape. Um, you can look it up on Google. I'll show you right now. You can find it. It's on Google. It's at 65 Spencer Avenue. A lot of things have happened in this house that the weekend talks about in his mixtape. So go listen to it. It's the 10th anniversary. Another series I also want to do is Another idea I want to maybe do on YouTube, but I'm really doing on Instagram and TikTok. I'm recapping my best photos from each month. So let me know if that's another idea that you kind of want to not make an entire video of or just what the photo is to me and what that day was and just the mooding of that. I'm also going to show you different spots in Toronto that also the weekend shot for the, that music video, The King of the Fall. And I hope you guys like it. <laughs>
right guys, I just noticed in the last clip that I was blocking the house. I'm gonna show you a front view visual. Yeah, this is the house. It's hard to say, but there's 65 there. So just to confirm that this is the house that The weekend lived in, and this is the way he shot all of his visuals for House of Balloons. <laughs> I'm at the next location. I'm here at Queen and Cameron. This is where The Weeknd shot one of his clips for King of the Fall, right on this street, right here. One of the clips, I'll show it right now. But this is also the Cameron wall. This has been here for, for a long time. And this is where a lot of people have shot a lot of photos. Also as well, a lot of the clips that I take, I posted on TikTok and Instagram first. So go follow me on TikTok and Instagram. The links will be down below. I do that before I put it on YouTube. Like I always say, give it a like, comment, and share my videos. I appreciate all you guys. On Tuesday when I went to the sunset, another thing I forgot to do was vlog a bit more of me enjoying the sunset. And sometimes I forget to do that because I'm usually enjoying the moment and I'm just enjoying taking in what I see. And sometimes I just forget to vlog it. So I'll do my best to vlog as much as I can whenever I do like a sunset or, you know, somewhere cool, what it feels like to be there. I hope you guys enjoying this video. I went to a lot of different places. I hope you guys check it out. If you do, leave a comment as well. What place is your favorite? And if you want to go there, show me a photo of something or tag me. I'm about to meet up with Aaron. It's a long weekend and just see what he's up to. All right, guys, as you can see, same condo, same place. Back again. We got Aaron here. What's yeah, good? What's we're good? chilling, man. Long. Long work week, it's a long weekend, Easter. I think all the patios are shutting down in like a day or two, so that kind of sucks. What about you? Have you had a good week? Honestly, it's been a chill week. It's been amazing because I've been uploading two times a week, as you guys know. I've been going live on Killing TikTok it. and it. Instagram. I appreciate it. The constant if, content is, is what matters. Right? If you guys haven't checked it out, like I said, go click down below. All my links will be there. Consistency is key. You keep posting, all good things are gonna happen. Events are gonna open up soon. You're gonna be doing photography at all these dope things around the corner. A lot of exciting things to look forward to, right? He is the guy that I'm gonna be going with. Like I said in my other videos, I'm gonna be traveling with him. Brands, you know, festivals, concerts, all that stuff. I'm very excited when I'm gonna document all of that stuff for you guys because you get to see from my experience, my point of view through your screen and get to see what it's like to be a freelance photographer and a YouTuber. I'm about to leave Aaron's place. As you can see behind me, the CN Tower, it's golden hour. I'm actually unfortunately gonna miss it. Hey, thanks for coming down again, bro. Yeah. Appreciate everything, man. Of course, bro. We're gonna do a lot of cool things down the road. Excited to see what's around the corner. That wraps up the video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really had fun making it. I know it's a bit longer than usual, but let me know in the comments down below if you want me to make these type of videos again. And the series that I mentioned earlier where I go to famous spots and shoot them. These are the final edits. And as you can see on the left, this is the house of balloons. And on the right is a Cameron wall. Both of these spots have been nostalgic to me because I've listened to The Weeknd's music for a long time and listened to House of Balloons when I came out and also I've been to the Cameron wall a couple times and it's such a great spot such a memorable place to be at also as I'm filming this, this is good Friday so I hope you guys enjoy your weekend have a great Easter stay safe as usual don't forget to also subscribe as I say always and don't forget to follow me on all socials I'll see you guys next week and until next time peace out